How easy is it to hide from the police and sewers? Is it possible to find gold treasure in the pipes? And are there really huge rats living in the sewers? Today we'll find out the answers to these questions. And in this episode, I'll show you the strangest and most unusual things that were found in the sewers. From a theoretical point of view, this method is ideal. The sewers are rarely descended into, they're dark and difficult to navigate. They're difficult to look for someone, and they stretch under the whole city, so you can easily go from one part of it to another. In practice, however, things are far from good. A great example of this is the story of Robert Jonah. A 24-year-old man decided to take refuge in the sewers of Oklahoma City, hiding from the marshals and police officers chasing him. However, it turned out very unlucky. Robert got stuck in one of the pipes, and before the cops could arrest him, a rescue team had to be called in to get the fugitive out of the iron trap. Well, it wasn't a bad idea for an escape, though. Goldfish Those who are familiar with aquarium fish's pets do not have to explain how vulnerable these creatures are. Compared to other pets, they don't live very long, and their life path often ends up in the toilet bowl. It's not known who first came up with the idea to do this to the fish, but the fact remains, now the fish end up in sewers around the world. But not all goldfish that are forcibly sent to the sewers end up dead. In Australia, for example, several goldfish have managed not only to survive in an unusual environment, but also grew up to unprecedented sizes. Local ecologists and biologists immediately began sounding the alarm because the behavior of usually peaceful goldfish became abnormal. People came across individuals 15 to 20 times larger than their normal size. According to rumors, they even managed to catch an individual that weighed more than 2 kilograms. Garbage, waste, dirt. What else do we usually find in the sewer tunnels? Turns out that if you look thoroughly, you might find something of value in there. Here's the fucking money, shithead! Oh, it's, uh, oh, uh, it's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. Oh. In 2009, workers at a sewage treatment plant in Nagano Prefecture of Japan discovered a whole gold mine in the sewers. Particles of gold were found in the prefecture's sewer waste. The metal was found during the processing of waste collected by the sewage treatment plant. According to one of the versions of the Department of Wastewater Treatment, the noble metal got there as a result of bad filtration of waste by plants using gold in production. According to experts, in this case, gold valued up to $125,000 can be extracted from the sewers every year. After watching this video, it would seem that sewers in Western countries are just as popular as city streets. Here's a great example of such popularity. In 2017, a group of young people in Britain decided to use sewage channels as a party venue. Raves these days rarely get official permission to hold, so organizers have to look for secret and hard-to-reach places, where the police are hardly likely to show up. Well, they've clearly succeeded in that. More than 200 people have gone down to the sewers to find a relatively dry place to dance. They even dragged music and lighting equipment underground. Judging by the footage, most of the attendees were excited about the party. However, one of the attendees suddenly wondered how safe such an event was and eventually decided to call the police. I bet the police have never broken up such an exotic party before. Escape from the farm when residents of an Australian suburb spotted a sheep under one of the sewer grates, they're really surprised. It's not known how it ended up in the underground pipe, given that sheep raised on farms are usually not known for their thinness. Nevertheless, the case of a sheep in a sewer is not unique. A similar story happened in a province of China. There, a cow was declared missing a few days before it was rescued from the catacombs. It took four whole days before a passerby heard strange noises coming from under the sewer grate. The cow was rescued and returned to its owner, but no one could figure out how such a massive and calm animal ever made it into the underground labyrinth. The Sewers of Pompeii This video fragment will be interesting to history fans. You know that the Roman Empire built many new elements of infrastructure on all its territories during its reign. The famous city of Pompeii is no exception. And the sewer system built under the city by the Romans was so good that partly continues to function today. At the same time, because of its antiquity, it often becomes a place of very curious discoveries, and that's why archaeologists are very fond of it. For example, recently a leg of a giraffe was found in the sewers of Pompeii. According to historians, this is the only fragment of giraffe remains in the history of Italy during the empire. 
How did it end up there? If we believe the rumors and stories, this very giraffe was once brought to Italy by Gaius Julius Caesar himself. The noble Romans kept the gift as a pet for a while and then decided to eat it. Books and movies about the world of the future often reveal the idea that soon all people will live underground. However, in fantasy stories, people are usually forced to do so because of pollution or wars. But those who live in underground communities today have very different reasons. One of the most famous such communities is located under America's brightest city of Las Vegas. Under the neon-lit buildings, under the feet of endless hordes of tourists, there are more than 300 kilometers of storm tunnels that many people call home. It's very difficult for outsiders to get here, although during the entire existence of the underground civilization, a few journalists still manage to get here. In their view, the people and accommodations in this bizarre kingdom are very different and the further into the underground, the better the dwellings become. But not everything's so good. Each of the inhabitants of this underground is at risk of catching dangerous diseases, living next to rats and unsanitary conditions. Also, the inhabitants can die from poisonous spider bites or drown during the flooding when the tunnels flooded. Mastodon Bones During the installation of a sewer to a farm in the U.S. state of Indiana, workers found a mastodon perfectly preserved fossilized remains were found right in a pipe duct. Paleontologists were called on the spot and suggested that during its lifetime, this ancestor of the modern elephant could reach 2.7 meters in height. However, its appearance was very different from the descendants that inhabit the planet today. Mastodon body was covered with thick brown fur. These animals did not have big ears, but their tusks were very huge. Scientists were able to excavate an almost complete set of skull bones, including these very tusks. The fossils were transferred to the Natural History Museum of the state for study and storage. It would seem that there's nothing surprising to find industrial waste in the sewers. However, sometimes their numbers reach unprecedented scale. A special name was coined for the sediments you see in these pictures, a fatberg. Just such a fatberg of impressive size was discovered in a coastal town in Great Britain in 2019. Usually, such fatbergs form when too much cooking fat and food waste are dumped into the sewage. But the odors of the cafe and the town clearly overdid it. No wonder locals were constantly complaining about clogged pipes. One can only sympathize with the workers who had to go down and personally supervise the process of removing this blockage. Giant Rat How big can sewer rats be? This is a question many people who are afraid of rodents wonder about. In Mexico City, workers shoveling garbage out of a city sewer almost ran away in terror. They stumbled upon the body of a giant rat that was bigger than a human being. The workers were frightened at first, thinking that the rats in the sewers had mutated and grown to the size of a bear. However, upon closer inspection, it turned out to be just a giant toy. Even the creator of this rodent was found. It was the designer Evelyn Lopez. She said she had once made this rat for Halloween, but during a storm, the toy was swept away by water from a warehouse. That's all, guys. Would you like to know what secrets your city's sewage system hides? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.